Well, Turkey's finance minister, Berat Albayrak, says that trade data shows the rebalancing of the current account deficit, as well as the announcement of the new economic program will help smooth out any bumps in the future. So how is this current rift between Ankara and Washington affected business ties? And is it likely to dampen future investment? To discuss this, I'm joined from Washington by Senior Vice President for Middle East and Turkey Affairs at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, Chris Chuksky, and here in New York is Attorney Ihan Eman. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here on The Square. Uh, Chris, let me start with you in Washington. Now, when you look at uh, the current relations, many issues sure. are over uh, the uh, ties between the two countries. How does the U.S. Chamber of Commerce sort of promote business and trade when you have such a sort of negative environment? Well, you know, the relationship between Turkey and the United States has had its ups and downs, but U.S. companies, and particularly if you look at 2017, the overall trade and investment between the United States and Turkey increased. Now, clearly, the recent uh, economic and political tensions are not favorable. But that said, um, we are cautiously optimistic that those issues will be resolved. And certainly if they are, and particularly if they are ex resolved uh, expeditiously, there is uh, a tremendous opportunity for further growth. Uh, in New York recently, uh, the Turkish Minister for Finance met with uh, our members, and we had a very good roundtable that provided an opportunity for uh, exchange. But I would like to say that, uh, as overall, Turkey has been extremely open and hospitable to American businesses. Okay, I want to turn to you. Uh, Kush just said in Washington, D.C. that they were cautiously optimistic. But does Turkey feel that there are deliberate obstacles sort of put in their way? Yes, lately, um, if you look at it, you will see that, um, you know, the economic ties are important between two countries. But seeing that political issues becoming hurdle and becoming in part of the barring the uh, economical improvement. So what's the most interesting part is to see that Turkey had had long time good relationship with U.S. and with NATO, with Middle East, with a bunch of other issues. And with this new administration, you see that all of a sudden things change. And in a way that Turkey has never done anything, never helped the U.S. So that becomes, that political part becomes big hurdle uh, on actual economical issues. This is why I think, yes, uh, I agree with, uh, with him too. The Turkey has been open trying to fix the issues uh, economical way and, and investment wise. We're seeing actually U.S. U.S. administration being tough on Turkey, uh, considering that trying to implement things on judicial part. The other interesting thing we, it will be just I just wanted to add it is it's interesting to see that the U.S. actually is based on the ideology of free markets, capitalism, globalism, and where now we see administration. Yeah. All right, uh, yeah. Kush, I want to turn to you. So, how do you sort of explain the current sort of Trump administration's sure. trade policy? Well, you know, we certainly would hope that the political issues and the economic issues are separated from each other. And we certainly at the chamber have advocated for that separation, particularly when it comes to unilateral um, economic uh, sanctions regarding trade and tariffs. So, you know, certainly that can have the potential to further impact negatively the economic uh, relationship. But that said, again, you know, coming back to my previous comment of being cautiously optimistic, Turkey is launched on a national transformation program, and we see opportunities in the aviation sector, in the technology sector, and certainly in ICT and healthcare. All right. Uh, I'm going to give the last word to you, Ihan. So how do these countries move forward? Chris said that we need to separate these issues, but there is a notion that some of the sanctions and decisions that were taken against Turkey have nothing to do with trade or economics. They were politically motivated. I 100% agree with you, but I think I also want to look at from the optimistic side where I think the the idea here is if political and strategic cooperation can move together here uh, and try to both sides to actually come into understanding uh, to resolve the issues and separate them from each other. As you know, he mentioned also, you know, to try to see the economical and political things separated from each other to make sure that uh, we resolve these issues. That's why I believe there is a room to grow, there is a room to fix these issues and to make sure that U.S. and Turkey become stronger again. 
All right, uh, so both sides are actually painting a positive picture. Ayhan Oyman in New York and Kush Chaksi in Washington, D.C., thanks to both of you. Uh, now, we've, both, we've heard from uh, both of our guests from the U.S. side as well as Turkey. They discussed what ties them together and what keeps them apart. These countries have had a rocky relationship at times, but it's in both countries' interest to keep the alliance together. Well, that's it from us here. Thanks to our team in New York, and we'll see you next time on the square.